What is up you guys? Welcome back to another plan with me video. So this video is on another level though. So we are going to map out a fresh month together. You can use this for any month in the future. I'm going to share all of the pens, all of the tools that I particularly use that I love. I have been consistent with my bullet journal since mid-January and I am so dang proud of it. So the very first thing I did to set myself up was I pulled out my phone and I pulled up Audible. I also had some cute little wireless headphones to be able to listen to in my ear. I absolutely love Audible. I've shared this before. I have partnered with them for this video because I always love getting you guys something a little for free. So if you text Angie Belmar to 500, 500, or if you simply just go to audible.com slash Angie Belmar, you will get one month for free. So this is what's included in my membership and will be included in your membership as well. Now I want to note that I actually physically pay for my audible membership every single month. I love it. So you not only get your one free audiobook every single month that is included in your membership, but you also gain full access to the plus catalog, which is podcasts and meditation and all of the originals that I particularly love. But I just want to say that having the capability ability to go in and grab a bullet journal audiobook whenever I want is amazing and just to use my credits put it up in my library within two seconds it's downloaded and I can start the other thing that I've shared that I love to do is if I'm reading a hardcover book I usually will get the audiobook in the format to be able to listen to it it just makes sense for me I can you know, consume the information in two different ways. And I'm loving the secret right now, which is funny enough on Audible as well. Audible almost has every single audiobook. The other thing I love is their originals and their podcasts. Like I said, that's included. So it's so sweet, so much freaking value. So definitely text that code to 500, 500. It's just my name, or you can go to audible.com slash Angie Belmar. So I wanted to share the bullet journal book that I actually downloaded and it, it was cool. It came with a PDF also. So I was able to get a couple of ideas before I jumped into my bullet journal. So this is the progression of my bullet journal since mid-January. I have stuck with it. I have gotten better. I've developed systems that I'm going to share with you that actually work. The biggest thing with me with planners is I buy them and I don't use them. This is a tried and true method. I'm not selling you on a planner. It's literally just a bullet journal. And the reason why I like a bullet journal is it's just a dotted journal. So you don't have to be super clean and organized with your lines. I don't particularly use a ruler. But one thing I do use is a really cute candle and I set the mood really freaking well. How cute is this Disney candle? I love it. It's called Pride Lands and it smells so good. So I usually have a little notebook on the side next to me where I map everything out, which you're going to see. But the main tool in this is the grid journal. So it's just a dot grid and you'll see I don't use a ruler and it just allows me to be freehand. And yes, some of the lines might not be super straight, but I kind of like that look. So the very first thing I do is a month in review. So I always do my top 10 goals. This is something that I developed over the month of late February and really into March. And the thing that kind of came to me at the end of March was to associate a color for each goal. So really taking the time to figure out the top 10 things that you want in a month can move you forward so much, either move your business forward or move your life goals forward insane. So what I'm doing right now is just going through my top 10 goals. I'm not going to share all of them, but example, I wanted to read three books. I wanted to finish our team university, which is basically an academy that our coaches have. So those things were done. And I just measured on kind of like a ruler or a thermometer, how much of that I finished. And then I literally just went through and I said yes or no, or almost. And then I was just going through and looking at what worked for me in past months that I did a month in review for. So I love noting what worked that month, what didn't work as negative as it might be to go over, it's important and where I can improve. So a couple things that I wanted to improve on were the ways that I was actually laying out my daily planner because I'm noticing such a difference in how productive I am, I wanted to make sure that my layout made sense. So I just kind of sketched out a better layout for myself, a better daily layout, and just taking up more of the page and just making a couple of notes of where I can improve just in my day to day, it, not just in my planning, but in my work ethic and the things that I'm doing. So what worked, where I can improve. So this is just a quick view over of what those two pages look like. So for a month in review, my top 10 goals, did I do them, did I not? And my proud moments, my top five, and what did I accomplish, my top five, because I think that's important to note. Then I go over what worked, what didn't, where I can improve, and then some improvement ideas, as well as just some little sketches. It doesn't have to be pretty, but when you look back at it, it really does end up looking cute. You don't need a fancy ruler. Really, you don't need to have all the doodles and the sketches. It really just takes up more of your time and makes you that much less likely to stick to it. 
So more review of the previous month. I think it's super important to call yourself out on your junk. If you're not doing your stuff, this is how you can call yourself out on it. So I went through the books that I actually did read, what I was grateful for this past month, the difficult moments, moments that I learned from, what I'm excited for, and the proudest moments that I had. So I also had left a little space to be able to journal and I also did a rating the month on a one to 10 scale. So then I just mapped out the month ahead and the way that I do this to make sure that I don't make any mistakes is I always start with the middle. So if you know your Wednesday is in the middle, just start in the middle and that way you can work out from it and you're that much less likely to make any mistakes. You can also just use pencil and I will do that in a couple minutes. And then I have key dates on here as well as any notes that I want to take. So just a really simple minimalist layout, but it makes sense. So again, the month in a few words, books that I read, difficult moments, moments I learned from, proud moments, scaling on one to 10, a little space to be able to take notes underneath my calendar that I have, as well as any key dates. And one thing that I always love noting is what I'm excited for. If you struggle with gratitude, just write what you're excited for. So this is where I decided to use my pencil because of that little sketch that I did with my ideas, which is, if you can see me flipping back and forth, that's me looking at that little layout that I did. So this would be an example of a daily page layout and I wanna know what that's gonna look like. So I decided to map it out and I knew that I had the grid spacing for it. So I wanted to be able to push things higher up and have a space for those top 10 goals, which is working for me. I really liked those check boxes that I put for my month in review. So I'm gonna add that to my daily layout. And then I have my top three movers for the day. I have a game plan for the day with a small schedule, just an hourly schedule, what I'm grateful for, to feel amazing I will, and then right now I'm doing a deep clean of, you know, detoxing my house, everything, it's all happening in the fit gym, so I left a little space for that to be able to note, and then I didn't like that there was a little space above the yes or no, so I put a little quote of the day. So that's what the daily layout is probably going to look like, I'm sure it'll evolve, but just to give you an idea, you guys always ask to really see what it is that I do. This is how simple it is, and this really didn't take me more than 10 minutes, and you could do this every single morning, map out your goals, revise those top 10 goals, and then associate a to-do list item for each of those top 10 goals, and then check yes or no if you've done it. That way you know that you're actually doing the needle moving stuff in your day. So then I grabbed the 10 different colors. So this is why I decided to get new markers so that I could have 10 different colors, one for each goal. And this gets really important as you get to the end of the month so you can have days where you specifically focus on one color. So I have my must do's, the want to do's for the month, dates to remember, and motto this month. So I'm gonna put a quote there. And I wanted to leave these blank so you could just see exactly what it is that I do, but I really hope that this kind of gave you a view. What I will do is I will screenshot and picture each of these pages and put them on my Pinterest so you can save them and utilize them and kind of look back to them. But it's nothing crazy. It is really simple and it I have stuck with it and I think that's one of the coolest things. So again, I will leave that code down below for you guys for Audible. Go do it. Literally listen to it the entire time that I was bullet journaling. So fun. If you guys did enjoy this, definitely give it a thumbs up make sure that you are subscribed and comment down below if you guys want to see more plan with me's i want to make them for you because i enjoy doing that and i will see you guys next time bye dudes